Hi there, my name's Karma and welcome. Today we're gonna to be doing a full body workout, taking this um, to your home, so you'll be able to do all of these exercises at home, all things that are probably common to you. Um, I hope you're keeping well. This is gonna help you keep your sanity. This here is Sharon, my name is Karma, and this is the chair. So that's all you're gonna be needing, your body, water, some good shoes, and a non-slip surface and a chair. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna demonstrate the exercise, and then my good friend Sharon here is gonna perform the exercise, and we'll be giving you at least a modification and also a progression, so please choose the one that best suits your fitness ability. Okay, so the first one we have Sharon today is chair squats. So with my friend chair, coming up here, standing with your feet hip distance apart, arms out so we're going to activate the lats and the glutes coming down just touching this chair and coming up squeezing your glutes at the top so just a nice little touch and pushing up okay so I'll get Sharon here to now demonstrate cool so we've got hip distance apart perfect squeezing at the top nice good so nice and slow is what we want we don't want to be using the momentum so you want to use the muscles all right that was Brilliant. Next one we have, I'll switch places with you, is the tricep dip. So we're working through those tricep arms. So coming up to your chair, taking a seat, bring your feet off, having your arms together and bringing your feet in close for the modified version, coming down, flexing through the elbow and extend. If you want to increase the intensity, extend the legs out, bring the hips down and extend the arms. When you're finished, bring the legs back in. Take it away, Sharon. My turn. <laughs> Perfect. Good, so just remember, you don't want to be locking out your elbows too much at the top of the movement. Modified version here, and if you want to increase the intensity, extend the legs, perfect. Remember to breathe, because that is good for you. Looking good, Sharon, fantastic. Smoking them little triceps, all right. High knee elbow, so basically just on the spot, bringing your knee up and opposite elbow. So this is the low impact. Obviously, if you're not warmed up, just keep it low. If you want to increase the intensity, then bring the leg up. Good. That's it. So we're gonna increase the heart rate here, bit of a metabolic workout. Bring it on up, making sure to bring the heels down just to take the pressure off the Achilles tendon. Fantastic. Cheers. And already the heart is going. <laughs> and next we've got the standing calf raise. So you can choose to use the chair or a wall. And we're just coming up onto the balls of the feet and down again. If you do have steps at your house to increase the intensity here, just bring your feet up onto the stair, bringing your heels down as low as you can and coming back up. Okay, nice and easy. Perfect. Good. And even just try and challenge yourself to stay up a little bit higher and bring it down nice and slow. Gorgeous. All right. So now we have, with your chair, we're gonna be doing a lunge. So we're gonna do a forward lunge and then we're gonna bring it back to a reverse lunge. So firstly, when we do the program, we'll be working on one side and then we'll be coming onto our left side. So with the chair, you can choose to use it for balance. Starting off with your feet hip distance apart, lunging forward, coming down the back knee as far as comfortable as for you, depending on your knees. Coming back and stepping back, dropping that back knee, squeezing through the glutes and back again. So you'll just basically be swinging that leg back and forth, keeping the tension on through your core. All right. Good. So using a wall here might be easier as you can slide your hand across the wall. But if you find you don't need to use the wall at all, then you can have your arms straight out in front. And just remember to try and keep those feet hip distance apart throughout the whole movement. We really want to concentrate on activating through the glutes, also squeezing, keeping that tension on through the front part, the abs, your TVA, all that nice corset wrapping around your body. Fantastic. Here we go. <laughs> so we're going to do exactly the same, but on the opposite side. So coming here, feet hip distance apart, shoulders back and down, stepping forward, 
lunging, pushing back away, and step back. Now, if you do need to modify, you can just do a smaller step. Don't go as deep into your lunge, especially if you have knee injuries, but try and keep that, those legs separated throughout the whole movement. All right, there we go, Sharon. That's it. It's like they're on a train tracks there. <laughs> and you'll find the wider you are, if you start to lose balance, it's because your feet are too close to one another. So try and separate them. So arms out in front. Fantastic. Good job. Thank you so much, Sharon. Beautiful. All right, so our final one, so the seven exercises that we have today is the wall push-up. Okay, so here we have it, the wall. So when we're doing the wall push-up, push we're walking through the chest, so that's it. And we're also gonna be working through the core, so we wanna brace nice and strong through the core. We also wanna squeeze the butt cheeks together, coming off slightly from the wall feet, hip distance apart. Now bring the arms straight out, then drop them slightly. And then we're gonna lower ourselves all together. So hips and chest at the same time, keeping your gaze forward. And just as your head's about to hit the wall, we're gonna push the wall away. Okay, so coming down, elbows pointing on a 45 degree. So you're basically creating an arrow shape. And that's it. So if you wanted to increase the intensity here, step further back. Arms still down and elbows pointing down toward the ground. Push away. So when you're finished, step towards the wall. Sharon here is now gonna demonstrate. Good, so you got your feet hip distance apart, arms out, drop them slightly. So we wanna to to create this arrow shape. So the head's high, the arms are lower. Good, so tummy's nice and tight. Squeeze the butt cheeks together, push the wall away. Good, and one more, fantastic. Looking good. It's a good way to get up close and personal with your wallpaper. <laughs> So increasing the intensity, feeling the difference there. So you'll feel there's a little bit more weight you have to tighten up through. So drawing that belly button towards the spine, that's gonna help you keep that stability through that lumbar spine. That's good, my goodness. Fantastic, so that there is the seven exercises. So we're gonna be doing three rounds. First round will be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. Second round will be 20 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. Thank you. I am going to do a warm-up? Okay. Hello there, my name's Karma and welcome Fit and 50 Nation. I'm glad to be here with you today to help you go through a full body workout. So we're going to do a little dynamic warm-up just to get ourselves into it. Make sure you do have a drink bottle because I definitely have mine. Um, we're going to be doing three rounds, 40 seconds on and 20 seconds rest. So in that 20 seconds rest, get a drink if you need. I'll be showing you um, the progression as well as the regression. So we can work through this together. All right, so let's get started. First of all, we're just going to do a dynamic quad. So arms up, reaching for that back leg, pointing the knee down, squeezing the glutes, working and warming up through the quads. All right, so we're just going to do 10 here and then we're gonna go into some leg swings, okay? So standing on our left leg, get the balance, find some focal point, and just swinging that leg back and forth for 10. Focusing on that balance, squeezing in through the core, squeezing the glutes. If you are advanced, you can lift the leg up a little bit higher. Good. When you're finished doing 10 there, we're gonna bring the leg across the body for 10. Good. So focusing on that balance, grounding that foot, all the way through the floor. Perfect. Now with that same leg, bring the knee up. Really important to focus on the balance, especially once you're over 50, that's one of the things that unfortunately does tend to go. So focus there, hold, hold, squeeze that glute on the grounded leg. Perfect. Nice, now we're gonna open and close. So if you do have hip injuries, just make the movement small, otherwise just bring the knee up and down for five. Open and close. We're warming up through the hip socket here. That's it, good. Three, two, and one. Bring that leg down. Now grounding through the right leg. Leg swings for 10. Good. Five more. Three, two, and one. Good, bring the leg across. That's it. Good. Hopefully you got a window open, let some fresh air in. Five, four, Three, two, 
and one good hold up. Squeeze through the glutes, shoulders are back and down. We're gonna open and close for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, so just warming up through the arms. Give yourself a big hug. Definitely need it throughout these times. That's it, good. One arm in front, one out in back. Just let them swing and drop and a little dip in the knees. Good, and this is the one that gets everyone so up and down. So meeting the thumbs in the middle, bringing them back down. Three more on this side. Good, and other side. Good, nice little twist through the torso. Three, two, one. Good, all right. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna start off with our chair squats first. So make sure you have your chair there. Hitch those pants up and we'll get right into it. Let's do this. Good, there we go. So we're coming up, standing up, squeeze the glutes. So we're gonna just listen for that little bell all the way through. Now, if you are modifying, you can come all the way down, but try and use the muscles to come up rather than rock up. So using the muscles rather than the momentum. Inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. Doing good. 10 more seconds to go. Good, how are we doing there? Awesome. Squeeze at the top. Nice, that's it. Resting up, shake it out, grab a drink if you need. Next movement we have is the tricep dips. So once again, we'll be using our chair. So starting off, bringing those arms in. Keep those elbows close and towards your torso. Five more seconds, breathe through it. And we're ready to go in three, two, one. Stepping off, hands together. So squeeze through the triceps, that's it. Tummy's tight. Remember, if that's too easy, challenge yourself. Extend the legs, drop the hips a little bit lower. Now make sure if you're feeling the chair sliding, probably a safer option to put the chair up against a wall. <laughs> you don't need to be going traveling just yet. Good. All the way down. Extend. Five more seconds to go. Oh yeah. Smoking those little triceps. Two and one. Shake it out. We've got our high knee to elbow, so a little bit of cardio here. Good. So 10 more seconds. Roll out, shake out those arms. Good. So remember, modified version here. Or you can, first round is probably a good idea, just to keep it low impact. So here we go. 40 seconds. That's it. So try and cross that elbow, slight rotation, drive the knee up nice and high. And try not to let the leg just drop down. You control the speed there. That's it. Perfect, 15 seconds to go. Doing well. Drive it up nice and high. Make sure that you Bring the heel all the way down to the ground. Two and one, good. Roll it out. So we've got our standing calf raises next. You can choose to use the chair. Turning around here. Or you can just do it freestanding, entirely up to you. So just choose the one that best suits your ability, okay? All right, let's do this. So here, up, slight hold, and down. Good. So try and squeeze the butt cheeks together. Hold up slightly and just slowly, gradually coming down. Good, so you can use the chair, but try not to place all your weight there. You want that nice posture, nice long spine, like someone's got a piece of string and holding it from the top. Good, pushing the ground away onto the balls of your feet. Good, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, so we have our lunges next. So that's working through our hamstrings, our glutes. It's a full body integration. I really like this exercise. 
So 10 more seconds, holding onto your chair if you need, making sure your feet are separated. Remember, if you have knee injuries, just not going so deep in your lunge or stepping so forward. So coming down, back to standing, bring that leg back. So nice and slow and controlled. If you want, bringing your arms out in front, that helps the activation through your lats and engages the glutes. So we're working on that left leg. That's it. So you can use the chair. That's it. So try and keep that 90 degree angle throughout the lunge here. Excellent. Now we're going on to the other side. So I'll show you more of a modified version to start off with on the side. So just stepping, but not going as deep, but still engaging through the quads, through the glutes. Good. So three, two, one, work time. Down, back to standing, reverse, drop that knee. So try and imagine you've got little lights on your hips and you want to keep them straight forward. Good. Inhale, exhale. Doing really good. Stay with it. Hopefully you got some good music on in the background. Almost there. Five more seconds. Should be feeling this now through the quads. Good. So, we're now going to move on to the wall and do our wall push-ups. Excellent. So this is our first wall push-up for the day. So coming up with our arms slightly beneath our heads and we're bringing our hips and our chest down. Let's go. 40 seconds. Good. So inhale here, exhale as you push the wall away. If you want to increase, remember you can step back, bring the arms down. Just creating a little bit more range of motion there. Perfect. Almost there. 15 seconds. Remember, tummy's tight. Squeeze the butt cheeks together. Creating that tension all the way through the body. Working that chest, shoulders and arms. Perfect. All right, rest it up. Grab yourself a glass of water. Get ready for round two. Chair squats, here we go. Arms out in front, tap down, squeeze at the top. So if you don't need the chair, you can come away, all the way down. So you want to have that same angle between the torso and your shin. So hold it down there, squeeze up. You want to have your toes out, heels in, and try and keep that weight through the middle of the foot. Okay, squeeze at the top. That's it, five more seconds to go. Remember you can use the chair if you need. Fabulous, so roll out those shoulders, shake it out so we've got that tricep dips coming up next. Hopefully you're hydrated, so please remember to stay hydrated. Really important, keeping all that liquid going through the your tendons and ligaments. All right, we're getting ready. Coming up to the chair again. Having our legs out. Bringing the hips down. This is a very small muscle. So you do tend to feel it a lot more. So if you're starting to feel tired or need to take a bit of pressure off, bring those legs in a little bit closer towards your butt. Keeping those elbows in. Try not to let them flare out to the side. Otherwise, those triceps are going to miss out. Good. And don't forget to smile. Facial yoga. Good. Five more seconds. Woo. Two and one more. All right. So now we've got our high knee to elbow. You can choose to bring it up a little bit, increase that intensity. All right. By putting a little hop with the leg. Otherwise, keep it down to your Low impact. Four more seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Rotate. Drive that knee up nice and high. 
That's it, good. Tummy's nice and tight. So pull that belly button in and up underneath the rib cage. Let the leg come down gently. Don't just let it clunk down. That's it. Don't want to be hippos like a butterfly. Feet coming down. 10 more seconds. So if you're feeling energetic, you can bring it up. That's it. Don't forget to rotate. Three, two, one. Perfect. So recover, catch your breath here, grab a drink, or just active recovery on the spot. We're gonna come into our standing calf raise. So turn the chair around, or the wall, if you're using the wall. So three, two, one, we come up. So this is a nice little recovery exercise. It. Arms out. If you need more balance here, challenge yourself. Stay up a little bit longer. Good. So remember, you can use a chair if you do have a stairway and you feel like you want to get a deeper stretch through that Achilles tendon at the back and if it's safe to do so, then give that a go. Five more seconds. Three. Two, one. All right, so now we're coming up to our lunge. So we start with our left leg being the working leg. Make out your feet are on train tracks here. Tuck the pelvis under, shoulders back and down. Inhale, we've got five more seconds, and then we're gonna lunge forward, keeping that back heel up, feet facing forward, and off we go. Good, push off the front foot, and down we go. So if you wanna increase the intensity, you can just swing Straight back and forth, without even stopping. <laughs> That's it. Nice and smooth. So we're almost through our second round, and then we have one more round to go. Doing really good. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, oh yeah, should be feeling that now. Just bring the chair around or step around it if it's too heavy to lift. And we'll be coming into our other side. So now we're working through your right side. Let's get a drink if you need. Get those feet apart. Three, two, one. Stepping out, back, down, 90 degree. Angles, feet both facing forward. Down we go. Perfect. Using the chair if you need. Not going so deep. Slight lean forward. Just a little extension through the hip. If you do have knee issues, so you're not loading through. You also don't want to be bending back too far and putting too much strain on your lower back. Beautiful, so now we're gonna be doing the wall push-up. Round two, guys, let's do this. Bring the arms down, step it back, challenge yourself a little bit more in round two. Good. Exhale, inhale. Good. Step it back a bit if you need. Feel that burn. How are you all doing? 15 seconds to go. So good. So slowly lower yourself in. Push away. Slowly there, creating that tension. Hips and chest at the same time. Good. Well done, guys. Grab a drink, mop up, get ready for round three. All right, round three, folks, doing really good. Coming into our squats, tap, squeeze, tap, and squeeze. Remember not to bounce out of that lower movement. Especially if you're modifying and coming right into the chair, try not to rock forward, come straight up. That's it, go. Good, 15 seconds. The end is near. That's it, good. 
couple more seconds. Three. Oh, there we are. Tricep dips next. Good. So last round now, make it your best round. Challenge yourself just a little bit more. Extend those legs out a little bit more. Tuck those elbows in a little bit tighter. Good. That's it. Nice and tight. Snuggle in. Butt off and we're coming straight down. Good. Get that butt down a little bit lower, but try and keep your spine in a nice long alignment there. Really feeling this one. I hope you are too. It's good. Bingo arms gone by the end of this little thing that we're going through. We'll all have tight arms, whittled waists. That's it. Good. Five more seconds. Ooh la la. Three. Oh, hello. Shake it out. I kind of like to do a little bit of a stretch sometimes at this stage. So 10 more seconds and we're coming into that cardio. So we're bringing that high knee to the elbow. A nice little torso rotations. All right, ready to go. Three, two, one, here. Low impact. Remember you're here for 40 seconds. If you still got energy in the tank, step it up. Good. Try to bring those knees up high. That's it. Halfway. Remember we've got the standing calf raises next. So you get to catch your breath. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. So getting set up, calf raises last time here. Good. Catch your breath, get that heart rate back down. Going gangbusters, all right. Four, three, everything tight, two, one. Good, concentrate on your posture here. Shoulders are back, chin is parallel to the floor, tummy's nice and tight, and squeezing, just creating that tension all the way through the body. Good. Halfway. Almost want to do a bicep curl here. <laughs> and you can. All right, 10 more seconds. Hold it there, squeeze, lower down. Posture, posture. Good, two and one. 20 seconds rest, grab a drink, active recovery. We're going into our lunges. So chair set up, working that left leg first. Remember feet separated throughout the entire movement. Five more seconds here, almost done. Three, two, one, arms out, here we go. Push, back to standing, lunge down. So make sure you've got your balance. Try not to rush into this movement. It's really good to see where you have tightness and imbalances. It's really good for picking up that. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> so you don't need to do high impact to get a good workout. Yeah. Good, remember you can swing all the way through if you have your balance. Good. Three, two, one. Perfect. So switching sides, walking around the chair, or if you can, lift the chair around. Last side, we are now working through the right leg. Five more seconds to go. Three, two, one. Tap. Down, step up, lower the leg. So just make sure that your back heel is straight up, keeping that separation through the movement. Slow it down. Or if you've got that balance, you can swing the leg all the way through. Good, keeping those toes facing forward. 10 more seconds. So low impact, don't go down as deep. 
three, two, one. And our final exercise for the round, wall push-up. Well done, everyone. We're there, round three. Stepping back, arms beneath the head. Let's go. Push. Good. Hope we're all feeling this at home. Working towards that evening cocktail. Or cup of tea. Let's go. Push away. Step it back, last round. Challenge yourself, keeping those heels on the ground. Keeping that belly button nice and strong in towards the spine. Good. Three, two, Whoa. well that's it folks. Well done and congratulations. You have completed your Fit and 50 at home workouts. So stay well, stay healthy and we hope to see you real soon.